Hello everyone, my name is Mia Isile and welcome to another fantastic episode. It's episode 7 of Mia Plays Golden Sun, The Lost Stage. Um, we are going to be heading back to Madra today, um, but for right now we're going through the Kumbombo Mountains to get this Jupiter Jin, who is probably going to kick my fucking ass because I never prep for these fucking battles because I'm an idiot. But, um, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to sit back, relax, enjoy, leave a like on the video, and comment about how good I look today. Um, but for right now, please let this level hurry up. Welcome to the team, another Jupiter Jin. I always called them D Jin when I was a kid, too. I didn't understand it was silent. But now we finally have Waft. I wish his name was Waffle. That would be a cuter name. Okay, where the fuck is this magic land? There's some hole here. Are you the hole I'm looking for? All right, I made a big mistake. And if this is like, and I completely missed doing this. Look upon me with the eyes of truth. Okay. Alright. I think I did everything I could. We're gonna go up. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go over here. Lovely gal. Okay. Let's check out this hole. Suck a dick. <laughs> it was that easy. I mean, it's not like needed, needed, but still. Okay, well, that one was pretty simple to find. Um, so let's go over here. Yeah, let's explore the... No, 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 no. We wanted to go up here first. We already did that. Okay. Oh! Oh! Miss Ma'am, I know what we're doing here. I don't want to be the one. Take that, books! This should be the key. Yep, found the key. What happened here? I am king. <laughs> knock, knock. <gasps> Pussy! I love reading. Um, two Mercury, one Jupiter. Okay, let's check it out. Alright, let's see Moloch. Oh, I love it! It's the furry thing! He looks like Appa! If Appa was... bred with demons. I wub him! But Daddy, I wub him! But Daddy... Daddy, I love him! Daddy, don't! Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, now there's some dying guy. We have to go find him. Where are you? Ooh, free shit. Bomb. How are you climbing the cliffs between here and Gondwin? If someone would just drop some ropes down from the top, it wouldn't be a problem. 
I'm dying from some of, for some of those Gondolin mushrooms, but I can't even reach them. I'm trying to get fucked up, man. Oh, well, yeah, I'll help you out, buddy. Oh, is, is that? Is that one of those favorite mushrooms? Did you climb all the way up those cliffs just to get that mushroom for us? That's the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. I have to thank you for this. Group three-way? No, honey, not tonight. Oh, but what could I have that a Rory would like, would like you would want? Oh, that's a tricky one. They're gonna go fuck. I don't know if you want a pet, but this is all we can offer. We are gonna get stoned as fuck, so we can just make up a pet like this so you can have it. Go us for getting an old couple high. We have char. I can't wait for dinner tonight. Batter fried mushrooms. <laughs> this here's enough mushrooms that will be fucked up for three days. And now, I get access to aura and healing aura. Oh. oh. Where could Marnardi have gone? Where are you, my sister? Hi. Have you by chance seen a girl named Renardi? Yeah, she's dead. You have? And you're telling me that my sister is dead? Yeah. If you continue these lies, I might take it upon myself to shut you up. Get out of my sight. Mind read. Using synergy on me? Are you so dense you don't want to be freed? I don't have time to play games with you now. Leave me to my thoughts. Oh, she's a bitch. Knock, knock. Felix, you're back. And you brought Piers with you. Oh, Piers! Piers, I must apologize for this trouble we've caused you. I'm sorry we lost your jewel. Don't be. Everything kind of worked out for the best. Piers, you, set, you uh, said you were going to Gondolin. Did you make it? Yeah, in fact, we just returned. And your jewel? Your family jewels? You actually got it back from Kimbombo. Incredible. I was able to recover it with the help of Felix and his friends. That's wonderful. I'm so relieved. I was worried you might never get it back. That's why we came back, to let you know that we've recovered it. Worry no more. If you already recovered jewel, your jewel, why don't you just stay here for a bit longer? Unfortunately, we can't. Hey, have you seen that girl out front? We must go to the island that is my home. Piers, are you sure? After what we've been through, I feel I've learned a few things. Like what? Like the fact that you truly are good people. And old people really like to get stoned. Oh, and that you have gone to great lengths for no other reason than to help those in need. I've come to realize that I, too, must do something to help when I can. Piers. I've made my decision. And the sooner we depart, the better. Right, Craydon? We shall set sail, Felix, to my ship, to the Eastern Sea. Do you truly mean to leave so soon? I may yet again have reason to visit your town, but yes, I must go. You seem quite busy. It is their youth that allows them to be so busy. But we'll be back, I promise. Maybe we'll be able to visit at a much more leisurely pace. I'd like that. So would I. Goodbye, everybody. So long. Felix, wait! I believe I promised you a reward for helping with the boat, didn't I? You did! Hand up! Imagine, you came all this way to put us at ease and I totally forgot to give this to you. Regardless, I told you that I would reward you when the boat was fixed. That may take quite a while, it seems. That being the case, I'd like to give you that reward now. We can't accept it now, though, could we, Jenna? Madra is still in shambles from the disaster. We couldn't possibly accept any gifts. Nonsense! Misfortune or no, a promise is a promise. Ooh, so <gasps> we got the cyclone ship. I'm glad that I was able to give it to you before you left. Your travel seemed to take you danger from uh, take you uh, from danger into greater danger. Please be careful. Thank you, Mr. Ma. Felix, you. He just called you Felix, didn't he? 
Why didn't I see it before? You are Felix. Then Minardi should be somewhere around here, too. And yet, uh, you won't see Minardi or Sateros ever again. Isaac killed them. They're probably at the bottom of the sea, dead by now. Shiva, quiet. Huh, I heard that, you wretched little thing. Can it be true? Is my sister dead? Mm, yes. I can't believe it. No one has the power to defeat Sateros and my sister. Isaac did! Yet you all avoid my gaze, and the look on your face is it... It's true. Who is this Isaac? What? You feign ignorance? Why? Would you protect him from my fury? Oh, never mind. I believe I've heard some rumors of this traveler named Isaac lately. Is this Isaac the same one that you've been speaking of? Is he pursuing you? In that case, then this Isaac should show up here sooner or later. How do you know it wasn't Felix who defeated your sister? What do you take me for? I'm a warrior like my sister. I can gauge a man's strength at a single glance. Even if you doubled Felix's power, he would still be no match for my sister. And besides, I doubt Felix could fight it in himself to betray my sister. He knows the lives of those he holds dear would hang in the balance. But I must congratulate you on your successes at both the Mercury and Venus Lighthouse. Although your success there now prevents us from returning to the Western Sea. You'd have failed, of course, had we not researched how to climb those lighthouses. Oh, didn't Renardi tell you? Regardless, Isaac won't be getting in my way. You will have to find your own way to the Western Sea. And if you make the journey, you'll have to light Jupiter on your own as well. We have our own work to do, and number one on our list is to take care of Isaac. Are we clear on this, Felix? Sure. Aren't you an obedient boy? If you're worried you can't get it done, we could help you a bit. Oh, no thank you. I believe we'll just find Jupiter Lighthouse on our own if it's all the same. I see. Just don't let us down. We're going to find that Isaac. I'm going to find this Isaac. And I swear that the last thing he sees will be Karst avenging the death of her dear sister. Wow, she was a bitch. We shouldn't take Karst too lightly. Wait a moment. Karst did say, we, didn't she? Yes, Sadros and Marty traveled as a ha pair. Perhaps she has a partner as well, or she's just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, we ought to warn Isaac that Karst is after her. Maybe we should try to find him first. Believe me, I'd love to see Isaac again, but we just don't have time to look for him. Plus, even if we did find him, there's still the good chance we'll end up fighting. Why? Well, we are trying to achieve what, that, uh, what they're trying to prevent, and uh, they will fight to stop us. But Jenna, aren't you and Isaac an item? Couldn't that, like, you know, do something? Uh, an item? No, I mean, it's, it's not like that. No, not really. I just, it's just, I just let him put that finger in, in a stupid Shiba. Ah, well, or yes, but for now, we should press onward to Jupiter Lighthouse like we planned. But what about Garrett and the others? Don't you mean Isaac? Shiba, shut the fuck up! Uh, are you ready to listen yet? They were strong enough to defeat Satos and Minardi. They won't be beaten easily. We should continue on ahead just as Satos and Minardi would have. Okay, Jenna? Sheba, Piers, are you ready? Then we should be going, right, Felix? Let's-a go! What an evil little shit. I hate that bitch. Alright, well, we have the Cyclone ship. Ah, the fresh sea air. We found it! At last, I'm back on my ship! Finally, I can return to my beloved Lumeria. Wait there a moment. To set sail, we must go down to the power chamber below deck. Let's head down! <clears throat> Hi, what are you? Oh, you're gross. <clears throat> now, this is where the game gets really fun, because now we actually get access to a ship. Mmm, jelly. So you guys are terrifying. Oh. 
Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck ass. Okay, um, you do this, you do this. We're gonna heal, and then you're going to... Now Jenna is officially the healer, forever and always. <laughs> Oh, that does a lot of damage to Sheba for some reason. Alright, honey. Tornado, come on. Okay, so it's regular effective there. Regular effective. <clears throat> Don't like that. Okay, um... Let's get you to do a good old Flare Storm. This is the problem is, Jenna now is like the healer, but it's always like, it's the same thing with Mia, you always fight like fire people, but she has to heal. <laughs> but she'll do the most damage to this character. Oh, we got it. Okay. Now the boat's flooded. Love that. What the fuck is this crystal cavern? We're on a ship! How did all these monsters get on board? Could have swear I locked the door. Oh, it doesn't matter. Once we get the ship moving, I'm sure they'll all jump ship. Okay, I'm gonna set the black orb on the pedestal. Take the tiller, Felix. If you hope to reach Lumeria, you have to learn a few things about handling a ship. Uh, I think we ought to sail to the Eastern Sea until you get the hang of it. Creighton, should we be heading straight for Lumeria? Um, well, I suppose if we had to learn to sail, it's better to do it sooner than later. Then I want to go to La Lavero and Toby, oh, and Vale, can we go to Vale? I'd love to see your hometown, Jenna, shall we? Let's do it. To Vale we go. No. I'm with Felix. I don't think that would be a wise course of action. Come now, why not? Think about the roads we have traveled to get where we are. I can't. I was never any good at geography. Then allow me to explain. The coastline of Argara, the continent in which Vale lies, is surrounded by rocky cliffs. Oh, you don't think Piers's boat could land there? And as for Gondwin, I would guess the people from La Lavero are uh, looking for us. He's right. Satoros and Minority went a little wild in Lalavero, and we were all with them. Oh, but Sheba can explain the whole situation. Farron and the Lalaverans would understand, I'm sure. And then they'd make me stay in Lalavero. Would you just leave me there, Felix? Oh yeah, maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea after all. Then it's decided! What's decided? The sea is vast. We can do whatever we please, so let's explore, Felix. That's a great idea. We've already met werewolves and discovered new synergy. I'm sure there's even more out there waiting for us to find it. Wow, this is going to be great! Huh, the sea can be quite dangerous. It won't be my fault if something happens, Creighton. To the open sea, Felix! And now... We set sail. Uh, 
Alright, I think I can get to Kimbombo that way. Because I want to go and get the special Synergy. I think this is also the situation where I can do... You can! Alright, where is Kimbombo? Here we go! No need for bullshit now! Aha! Now I'm psych-cloned. Give me magic that I didn't deserve! By reaching this place, you have proven your power. By rights, Akufubu should bear this power, but I shall keep my promise and bestow it upon the one to reach the place first. I'm grateful for your promise, but I'm worried that we have done Akufubu and the Kambambo a great wrong. Akufubu has not honed his own powers, and the fault lies with him alone. And yet there is a hint of truth to what you say. Then what are we to do? Does this mean we won't receive your magic? As Ivor said, I will give the power to you. Your concern is misplaced. But I must add one small condition to our agreement. What? What kind of condition? You must not mention this to Akufubu. Akufubu was plainly ill-prepared for this test. He will lose heart if he hears what you have done. And yet the Kambambo have need of this ill-prepared leader. If Akufubu even reaches this place, I shall teach him the magic as well. Promise to me that you will not tell Akufubu that you earned this magic. Can you do that? Of course! Felix, we're gonna have to turn down the band and the clowns. Ah, uh, and now I shall sleep. Farewell, successor of the Witch Doctor. Tom Gatherin? Oh! I have to look this up. This is that- I, I can't tell if Dark Mage is good or not. So basically what this is, it's like, it's better if you kind of give them like weird ass gin combos. I don't really do stuff like this too much. I think for right now, I'm gonna have to turn off the Tamagotrion. As much fun as I'm having with it. I would like to play with classes and try to do this not so like straightforward and it will be easier once I have more um more gin ooh this is fun oh hi buddy oh you're pissed too I'm sorry somebody's angry We got um, ladies and gentlemen, everyone between, every gender above me on. Welcome to our team, Mud. Mud. All right, now we have Gaia and Revive, and you now have Fog. This is a lot better of a setup than before. <laughs> Now, I believe we're trying to go over there. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching episode 7 of Mia Plays Golden Sun The Lost Age. We have finally found um, Azumo, which this is going to be one of the best storylines in all of Golden Sun. So make sure to watch me live on twitch.tv slash MiaEasyLeg. But thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.